lovelies and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. If you are new here then welcome, my name is Katie, I post fashion and lifestyle videos. Today's video is going to be a fashion video so I'm going to share with you a few different outfits that I have seen from Instagram from some of the influencers that I follow and I have tried to recreate them today with the items already in my wardrobe. Some of the outfits I've managed to recreate really well and pretty precisely because I have actually got some of the exact pieces in my wardrobe whereas others I've just tried to get as close as I possibly can still just using the pieces in my wardrobe. I really wanted to focus today's video on showing you how you can achieve looks that you do see on Instagram from influencers without having to go out and buy all the same pieces that they own. I think it's so easy to get caught up in Instagram and feel like you always need to be buying new items, especially when you do see some of the bigger influencers posting adverts all the time for different things. It can get a bit overwhelming and feel like you always need the next big thing. So I really wanted today's video to focus on the fact that you do not need to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe to get the same looks as they have. So before getting on with the video today, I really hope that you do enjoy it. If you do, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what your favourite outfit was. And let me know if you'd like to see me recreate any other influencers' outfits so I can do that next season maybe for winter. If there's anyone in particular that you'd like to see, then definitely leave their Instagram handle down in the comments. If you're not already subscribed as well, it would mean so, so much to me if you could hit the subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is turned on so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Of course, I have gotten all of these outfits from Instagram, so if you don't follow me over on Instagram already, definitely go give me a follow. I'm sure I will be posting and wearing most of these outfits that I'm going to show you today so you can see them in a lot more detail over on my Instagram as well. So with all that being said, let's get straight on with the video. I just thought I'd quickly mention a couple of things. I have got everything written down on my notepad here so if I keep looking down that is why. Also there is going to be a little bit of inconsistency with this video because if you haven't already noticed I have had my hair cut and coloured so it does look quite different to how it did before. I did film the outfit clips with my old hair, so you're gonna have a bit of inconsistency with flicking back and forth to me now in present day and to how I looked before with my old longer hair. So I am sorry about that, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. So first up is of course going to be from Freddie. I have followed her for years. She is definitely my biggest style inspiration. She's kind of like the main person that made me want to dress the way that I dress. She is literally the exact description of feminine fashion. She's so classy and chic all the time and she always looks so put together and I've definitely always loved that and wanted to try and achieve her look. So of course I had to include her in today's video. Freddie doesn't actually post too much on Instagram so I did have to scroll back a little bit further to find some of her autumn outfits but when I did I knew exactly what outfit I wanted to recreate when I saw it. So I've gone for this lovely look from her. So it's a very, I would say, classic Freddy look for autumn. It's all the lovely beige, neutral tones that she loves and that I love as well. So I think this was a really good classic Freddy outfit to go for to recreate today. So for my look, it's fairly similar, I would say. It's nearly spot on. The only thing that's not quite right is maybe the jumper but I chose something as close as possible that I had in my wardrobe. So first of all, I've got on this brown mini skirt. I'm pretty sure it is the exact same mini skirt that she is wearing. This one is just from H&M a few years ago. I'm pretty sure H&M bring out something very similar every year. Then I have gone for a cream cable knit jumper. This one that I have got on is from New Look. It is super cosy and so just slouchy and comfy. It's the perfect jumper for autumn. She has got on a slightly different jumper, slightly longer, 
and maybe looks a bit thicker as well but this was the closest that I had in my own wardrobe I think it's a pretty good match then on top of that I've got my beige trench coat my one is from Vila I actually got it from Vinted hers I'm sure will be a Burberry I would absolutely love to have a Burberry trench coat one day when I'm rich hopefully but for now I've just got my Vila one it is perfectly fine it does the job it gives the same look obviously the quality is just not going to be quite as good as Burberry so it probably won't last me anywhere near as long as a Burberry one would and then for my shoes I've gone for these cream lace-up boots my ones are from Marks and Spencers I'm sure the ones that she's wearing are the Zara ones that were going absolutely viral a few years ago. I did try to get my hands on the exact ones, but I managed to find these ones from Marks and Spencers on Vintage. They are literally the exact same. I think there's a slight difference in the heel. The Zara ones have more of a round heel, whereas my ones are more of a square rectangle heel. But they're a really good example of pretty much the same shoe. So I'm pretty pleased with this outfit. To top it all off, I have gone for my cream top handle bag. Again, not an exact match. I'm sure hers is um, one of the Mulberry designer bags. Again, I would absolutely love to have the bag that she's actually wearing. It's so stunning, but the price point is just a little bit too high for me. So I've gone for something as close as I could get that is from my own wardrobe. I think overall this look I've gotten pretty damn close to her look and even though it's not an exact match I think this is a prime example of what I was saying about in the beginning of the video where you can just use the things that you already own to get a pretty close replica of the outfits you see on Instagram. Next up I have chosen to go for one of Anna's outfits. This is Anna's Style Dictionary. I have followed her since I started Instagram and watched her grow and she's just incredible. I love all of her outfits. Again, a very similar vibe to Freddie and myself as well. So she's a real big inspiration for me and I look through her Instagram a hell of a lot for style inspiration when I'm stuck for things to wear. I think her outfits are normally quite easy to recreate because she goes for very basic fashion but always looks so chic, classy and put together but all of her things are just basics and then she'll just go for one statement piece which I really really like. I think that's what makes an outfit look so classy instead of overdoing it with loads of statement pieces and just so over the top. It's so nice to have those basic pieces and then add one really lovely maybe more luxury statement piece to the outfit. So the look that I've chosen from her today is this one. Again, I was able to recreate this one pretty much exact because I had some of the same things as her. To start with is the skirt. This is the exact same skirt that I have. So this one is from Zara. It is actually a skirt, so underneath it's like the lining of a skirt, but it's actually just shorts. So it just makes you feel a little bit more secure, especially in autumn when it's a little bit windy on some of the days. It's quite nice to have a skirt rather than a skirt. But yes, this one is the exact skirt that she has. Then for my jumper, I've just popped on this beige one. It's a cable neck jumper from Hollister. It's not got the same neckline as hers, so it is a v-neck rather than a turtleneck. I think I do need to invest in a beige turtleneck or maybe a funnel neck jumper in this beige colour for this autumn winter. I definitely do wear this colour a hell of a lot, so to have a basic like that I think I would get so much wear out of. Then on top of the skirt and jumper I have chosen out my blazer from H&M. This one looks pretty similar to the one that she's got on. I don't know if it's an exact one, but it looks very, very similar. So it's a good way to recreate the outfit. Then in terms of accessories, she is wearing a little coach belt, which is absolutely stunning and is definitely something that I would like to invest in one day. But for now, I've just got one from Primark. I got this really recently, so it will probably still be in store. And they do it in a really dark brown colour as well which I did also pick up. They were literally only £3 each so really really good for a belt. It's just a really good staple piece. 
Then to match in with the belt, I've gone for a cream bag, the same one as the one I used for Freddie's outfit. This is the closest that I had to the bag that she has. I'm pretty sure her bag and Freddie's bag are the same. So this is the closest that I've got in my wardrobe. And I think it does match really well with the belt as well. So it all ties in together. Then for my shoes, my ones are just from Accessorize. Again, pretty similar to the ones that she's wearing. So I think overall this look is a really good replica for her outfit. If you don't follow Anna on Instagram, I would highly recommend that you do. She is perfect for autumn and winter fashion inspo. I absolutely love her style, especially during autumn. She just dresses so similar to me and goes for all the same tones that I like. So she is also a very good style icon to follow. Next up, of course, I had to go for one of Josie's looks. At Josie London is her Instagram handle. She is another influencer I have followed for years and I've always loved her style, even more so now that she lives in the Cotswolds actually. I think she's really grown into her style and that kind of countryside look and I absolutely love it. So for the outfit I've chosen to recreate for Josie is this lovely one. I absolutely love the dress that she's wearing. I'm not sure where it's from, but it is stunning. It is such a perfect autumn dress. So I've tried to go with a similar colour scheme because I don't have anything even remotely similar to the style dress that she's wearing. But I've gone for that lovely dark forest green colour that is on the base of her dress and is the same as the base of mine. So my one is from Apricot. This is one of my new favourite dresses for autumn. I absolutely love it. I got it in the sale this year and I was so happy to find it. I think the fit of it is perfect. The colour is so, so lovely. I'm really loving that dark forest green for this autumn. I feel like I'm definitely gravitating more towards darker colours this season for some reason. Normally I do like lighter colours, but this year I'm just loving all the dark colours and I'm absolutely loving that gorgeous wine colour that's really in at the moment as well. So I think I'll be picking up more pieces this season in that colour and this gorgeous green colour too. To go with the dress, she is wearing some knee-high boots, so I've gone for my own knee-high boots in this brown colour. These are from Next. I wear these to death every single year. I absolutely love them. They are my go-to shoe for autumn and winter. They're super comfy, they're really wearable and really practical. They're just a really good go-to shoe for autumn and winter. Then for my bag, I have matched the two tones of brown together. I've gone for my brown crossbody bag. This one is from Marks and Spencers. I know it's not very similar to the one that she's got in the photo, but I just thought instead of trying to match the bag as similar to hers, I would go for something that I would actually wear and match the bag and the shoes together. Then for my coat, I have gone for my fur coat, which is from New Look. I got this a few years ago. I love this coat. I think it really easily dresses up any outfit. It makes you feel and look really bougie as well. I absolutely love it. I normally tend to wear my fur coat for evenings out or maybe like theatre trips, something like that. I don't tend to wear it just during the day because I feel a little bit too bougie for it during the day. So overall, again, I think I've managed to get a pretty good recreation of Josie's outfit here. I'm really happy with this outfit and I will definitely be wearing this out and about. When it gets a little bit colder as well, I think you could add brown tights with this look and it would work still really well and it would all tie in very well together with the brown accessories and everything. Next up, I've chosen an outfit from Lily. Her Instagram handle is lilygracep. I've not been following her for too long, maybe the last six months to a year, so not as long as the others, but I really like her style. It's definitely more kind of classic and simple. I like to go to her Instagram page for more simple looks, so if I'm not really feeling like dressing up too much, then I'll definitely go to her page for inspiration for those more basic looks. I think she does basics really, really well. So the outfit I've gone for from her is this one. 
like I said, it is a very basic outfit, but it just looks so chic and so put together. Unfortunately, you can't see what shoes she's wearing in this photo, but I've just tried to match in with my accessories like I usually would. So to start with, let's go with the base first. So I've gone for a white v-neck t-shirt. She has got on a crew neck, but I don't own just a plain white crew neck t-shirt. I prefer a v-neck on myself. My t-shirt is just from H&M. I absolutely love basics from H&M. They always do them really well and you know what you're going to get basically from them. Then for the skirt, she's got on this lovely beige A-line skirt. I've gone for something extremely similar. It is this one from H&M again. It's just got the little gold buckle detail on the front. Then to match in with the skirt, I've gone for my plain beige blazer. This one is from Topshop via Vinted. I got this last year and I've worn it so much. It's a really good staple piece for your capsule wardrobe for autumn and it matches the skirt really well like she's done. She's gone for a more oversized look with her blazer but I do prefer my blazers more fitted. So I've just gone for what I've already got of course in my wardrobe. not least is Eden. Her Instagram handle is Eden Morrissey. I think I've pronounced that correctly but I will put it up on the screen like I have for all the others. She is somebody that I've followed for probably about the last year so similar to Lily as well. She lives in Paris so she's got that lovely Parisian lifestyle and I love following her so much. It's so nice to see Paris on my feed pretty much daily. I love her style. It's really similar to mine again. She goes for all the lovely neutral beige colours during autumn and then she's very much a pink girly in spring and summer which I of course love. For the outfit from her I have chosen this one. It is so so cute. It's lovely and preppy and gives that kind of dark academia vibe which I really like for autumn. I also love the backdrop that she's gone for for this look. I think it fits really well. So for my recreation of this look, I have gone for my brown pleated mini skirt again, the same one as I used for Freddie's outfit in the beginning of the video, so this is from H&M. Then this look is very layered, so she's got on a shirt underneath her jumper. My white shirt is just from New Look, it's just a really basic staple piece that I added to my wardrobe fairly recently. I think this was kind of the idea of why I really wanted a white shirt in my wardrobe, was more for having the collar over jumpers and cardigans like this. I think it's such a lovely style. I really like that preppy look, especially for autumn, like I said. I just think it looks really classy and chic. Then on top, I have just got on a beige cardigan. This one is from Primark, I did get it a few months ago now, so it should still be in stock, I would imagine. It's just a really lovely cardigan that I've been looking for for so long in this colour. It is the perfect colour for autumn. It's a really nice fit as well because it's cropped, I think it goes perfectly with skirts, and I do wear a lot of high-waisted trousers and things, so it's the perfect length where it just kind of sits just where you want it to. Then for the shoes, she's got on some lovely Mary Jane shoes, which I would really, really like, but I currently don't have any in my wardrobe. So using shoes that I already have, I've gone for some brown brogues. I think this still ties in really nicely with the look and the kind of preppy style that she's gone for, and these brown brogues definitely work very, very well with the outfit, and it ties all the colours and the shades of brown and beige nicely in together. Then for the bag she has just got on this little cream kind of coloured crossbody bag. I don't have anything really that similar to the one that she's wearing so I've gone for a pink crossbody bag. It is pink but it's a really dark beigey kind of dusky pink so I think it still does work. If you want to add pink 
in your autumn wardrobe this is probably the best way to do it go for a really like neutral look for your outfit and then just add in little pops of pink in either your hair accessories maybe or your bag this pink definitely works very very well for autumn and winter because it's a darker shade rather than that pastel or bright coloured pink that we would normally go for in spring and summer so overall for this look I think it works really well and I think I've managed to get pretty close to her outfit as well which I'm really pleased with but I will for sure be following along with all of Eden's outfits for autumn I'm really excited to see what she's going to be wearing this year because I haven't been following her for that long really I've only seen kind of her autumn outfits from last year so it will be nice to see what she wears this autumn as well so my lovelies, that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you've maybe got some inspiration for yourself for what to wear this autumn. I also really hope that you've been able to take away from today's video the fact that you don't need to go out buying loads of new pieces for the new season and you definitely don't need to have the exact same pieces as you see on influencers. As you've seen from this video, you can recreate something pretty similar or even exact from pieces that you already own in your wardrobe. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.